Hey guys, I'm Jessie and today I have an obnoxiously large pile of possibilities video for you guys. This is my October TBR and it is absolutely unachievable. I know I cannot read the amount of books that I have. I have about 25 books on my pile of possibilities, which is what I'm calling my TBR now, because I have a goal for the month of October. And that goal is to read as many of my Fairy Loot Illumicrate books as possible. I will say that typically I read these books pretty quick in comparison to some of my other like higher adult thicker, denser fantasy books, these tend to read a lot quicker for me. And honestly, I'm not ashamed to uh, DNF. Even if it's like a beautiful fairy loot book, like I'm not scared to DNF it. So we might get through a decent chunk of these this month, but like I have no thoughts that I'm going to actually accomplish this entire TBR. But what I'm going to do is I am going to show you all of the books all 25 of these books that are on my pile of possibilities. And then I want you to let me know which ones I should prioritize, whether you've read them already and absolutely love them. Let me know if there's any that you've like DNF'd or not liked very much. And then if you want to buddy read any of these, since I'm trying to get through them anyway, let me know because I know a lot of us on here uh, get these book boxes and then the books just sit and I am definitely guilty of that. Like I get them and I get them every single month and I love them, but it's really hard to prioritize them when you have so many other books that you wanna read. Like we can't possibly read everything, right? It's just a lot. But this is my month of reading book box books. So we are going to jump into this so that it's not like a million year video. Also, there will probably not be like synopsises of most of these synopsises. No synopsis for most of these because like that would take a million and a half years. I don't know what came from where and these are not in any particular order, but we're going to start it off with the undertaking of heart and mercy. This is a beautiful edition. And I don't think I've heard anybody talk about this. So if you've read this one, let me know. I'm excited just because it's so pretty and it looks like it would be perfect for October. So this is the first one on my list. Then we've got This Vicious Grace by Emily Thede. Again, I really don't know anything about this book. Some of these books I do know a little bit about, but not this one. No idea. And again, it's pretty. Um, my edition actually, I think, got messed up because like the edges are not how they're supposed to look, but I'm excited. Then we have Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I believe this came in an adult fairy loot. And look at that. This one's really pretty. I actually ended up with two of these and gave one to my niece. So... I might see if she wants to read it together with me this month. We have another one that I'm actually super excited about because I have heard this compared to like City of Brass Light and that is the Stardust Thief. And again, such beautiful sprayed edges. I love the purple. So maybe this one will be like priority. We've got this stunning paperback edition of the Twin Crowns. And again, I don't really know anything about this, but look. Y'all, is this not like the most beautiful paperback you've ever seen? Like, so I hope I love it because it's gorgeous. Then I have a Violet Made of Thorns, which is one that I believe just came out recently and so excited because it's beautiful. Do I know anything about it? Not really. Am I gonna try to get to it? Yes, I am. <laughs> then we have another one that I remember is from a adult fairy loot as well, and that is City of Dusk. Again, black sprayed edges, so pretty. And yeah, I don't know anything about this. Common theme, I don't know anything about these. A lot of times I get my book boxes and I'm just like surprised by what's in there. Cause like, of course I do my um, anticipated releases and sometimes some of my anticipated releases are in these boxes. A lot of those I've already read though. So like I'll read them either as arcs or like those ones I've read already like as soon as I got them, like Babel 
was one of my anticipated releases. I got it in an Illuma crate box and then I had already read it. So most of these were not like anticipated releases, but like surprises. Then we have The Darkening, another really stunning cover with really pretty sprayed edges. Then we have Only a Monster, which this is one that I was wanting to read and was on my anticipated releases on one of those videos this month. And uh, y'all, again, the edges. These books are just so pretty. All of them are beautiful. And it's like, that's why we get them, right? Because they're so pretty. But then it's like, you got to actually read them. Even though you got pretty books, you need to read the books or they're doing no good. Then we have The Drowned Woods. Again, another really pretty blue sprayed edge. The back of this one says, Oceans Will Rise, The Kingdom Will Fall. It's an Illumicrate edition. And it's pretty. I don't know anything about it, though. Then we have A Marvelous Light, which ugh, I love this edition that they did. It's got this weird clear cover. And that's the naked hardback. Like... Come on. If nothing else, this is one of the most beautiful books they've done. Another one of like the reasons I'm doing this is because I want to try to get through as many as I can before we finish my new like office library renovation because I have to move all of these books into my new office. And while yes, I will actually have more shelf space in this new office because we're doing built-ins around like every single wall in the office um I just I don't want to move books if I'm like not gonna read them or like don't love them so I want to see if I can maybe weed through some of these and get rid of the ones that like I absolutely just didn't love and think would do better with somebody else then we have beasts of prey I believe this was like a second book in one of the boxes I've heard amazing things about this book though so I'm definitely excited to get to this one then we have one that I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like but I'm gonna actually prioritize it because if I don't like it I have two copies and I'm just gonna get rid of both of them and that is Book of Night by Holly Black I did not like the cruel print series I only read the first book and I did a rant I hated it but this is like an adult fantasy it's not fae it's shadow magic so Here's hoping that this does me better than The Cruel Prince did. Then we have Defy the Night. This is another one that I've heard really good things about and it's so pretty. I think I got this one when I was still getting Owl Crate because I think this is an Owl Crate book, but I could be wrong. Possibly, because I don't think Owl Crate does sprayed edges anymore. I don't know, I haven't gotten them in like forever. So, but I've heard good things about this one. Then we have In the Ravenous Dark and I've heard good things about this one. I'm pretty sure there is a polyamory in this book, if I'm not mistaken, which love that. And I'm pretty sure it's a standalone. So I'm really excited if it's a standalone because I don't have enough standalones. I start way too many series and then I don't finish the series and it's chaotic and I need some standalones so I can like feel like I completed something. Oh, we're getting there guys. Then we have Wolf in the Woodsman. And again, I've heard some good things, some not good things. This one has a lot of mixed reviews, but it's so pretty. And I mean, I'm just, I want to get through all of these. So again, let me know which ones I should prioritize. And we have Year of the Reaper. I have not heard a single person talk about this book. I know it came in one of the boxes and I have it and it's pretty. I like black. I like the black sprayed edges. I just the black with the gold. I just, I really like it. I like how it looks on the shelf. So hopefully I like the book itself. Then we have another really pretty paperback that came as I believe a second book in a fairy loot box. And that is an arrow to the moon. I believe this is like kind of a Romeo and Juliet retelling in a way, but I'm not totally sure. So if you've read this, let me know because it's beautiful. And um, it sounds good. Then we have Blood Scion, and this one is really high up on my um, like list of ones that I want to like prioritize because I have heard nothing but good things about it. The cover is stunning. Like I'm pretty sure this one has, yeah, it has like a really pretty naked hardback. Mm, I love that. I love nothing more than a pretty naked hardback. Like we could totally do away with dust jackets. 
and just make every single book like a printed on hardback and I would be the happiest girl in the world. Oh, now we have another gorgeous hardback and this is another one I wanna kinda of prioritize and that is This Woven Kingdom by Tahara Muffy. I really liked the first three books in the Shatter Me series. I never continued because I read the first three like when they came out never read anything else but I liked them so I'm really excited to read another book by Tahara Mafi and again one of the most stunning additions then we have the ones we are meant to find I believe this again was like an owl crate book when I was still getting owl crate I've heard, again, mixed things on this one. So if you have read it, let me know what you think. We're getting close, guys. Now we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which again, this one was like really, really hyped. And a lot of people love it. And I really think that I will because I really like like Asian fantasies. And I mean, is that not gorgeous? I think of all of these, like the ones that I end up keeping, like if I don't like DNF them, when I do my new office, I might display like an entire like book box shelf like this way so you can see the sprayed edges. What do you think about that? Because like, I know we all display our books usually like spine out, but I'm thinking when I move, which I'm, not, I'm moving one room over to an addition that we're putting on the house. So it's not like I'm moving, moving. But I think when I move all my books, I might do like an entire shelf of just sprayed edges outwards. Then we have A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Again, this is one that I don't know much about, but is really pretty. So we're gonna see what happens. We have The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. And recently I've been hearing quite a few really good things about this that makes me think like I'm really gonna love it. So again, beautiful. I think it's a standalone. Is it a standalone? It might be a standalone. Let me know if you know, cause I'm not sure. And then the last book, which is probably the one that I'm most unsure about is Portrait of a Thief. This is not even a fantasy book at all. And this came in an Illumicrate box. And I believe it's like a heist book, like a heist mystery book, but it is not fantasy, which is outside of my normal comfort zone. So I might actually try to prioritize this one just because it's outside of my comfort zone. Like it's not even sci-fi. Like it is not what I normally read, but I wanna try it out because I got it. So why not read it if I have it? Y'all, that's a lot of books. October is going to be wild. And like, I still have other things to do in October, like work and be a mom. And like, I'm taking, you know, a trip to Bush Gardens and like Halloween. And I have things going on in October, like outside of just like locking myself in a room and reading. But hopefully I get to all of these or as I'm not getting to 25 books. There's no way I don't know what I would think if I got to 25 books in a month. Like that would be a record for me. And I know these YA fantasies typically like I can read them in a day or two, but like there's just not enough hours in the day, days in the month for me to do that. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try and see how many of these dang books we can get through because why have books if you don't read them? I do not wanna be that person that like hauls all the books and then does not read them, especially my like really pretty fairy loot Illumicrate box books, because I really want to get to them. And a lot of them are like, you know, the super new releases. So I want to be able to review them. But like, some of these are not new releases. anymore. <laughs> I think these are all 2022. Maybe some 2021, like end of the year last year. But if there's any that you want me to prioritize and like do like standalone reviews for, let me know. Any that you want to buddy read, let me know because I have no idea where to start in this pile. So I need your help. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with me and going over this like ridiculous pile of possibilities, TBR, that I'm going to be trying to get to in October. Wish me luck. Bye.